Hello and welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial. Um, in one of the previous tutorials we looked at um, how to use uh, CSS child selectors. So um, for example to select the first and last child in a um, parent div. So maybe to style the first paragraph inside a div or to style the last paragraph inside a div. So we looked at different um, child selectors that we can use. In this tutorial, we'll look at um, nth child selectors. So we'll use the nth child selector in CSS. And basically, the nth child selector is used to select every element that is the nth child of a parent, regardless of the element type. So for example, we could apply a different style to every second paragraph in a div, or we could apply a style um, to every third paragraph in a div. So n can represent, um, it can be a number, it can be a keyword, or we could use a formula as well. So for this example, I'm firstly going to make a div inside the body section of my web page. So I'll create a div and I'll give it an ID. So I'll say um, div ID equals, and I'll just call it my div. Okay, and I'll just close that div tag off. And inside this div, I'm going to add some paragraphs just with some random text. So, um, so just some random text in there. Not very creative, but anyway. And I'm going to copy that so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paragraphs there. Okay. So I've got a div called um, my, my div. So it's got an idea of my div. And then there's eight of the same paragraphs inside that div. Okay. So these paragraphs are children of this parent div. All right. So that's all I need to do in the HTML for this example. Then I'm going to go over to the CSS code. And I'm going to refer to that div ID. So I'm going to say hashtag my div. And then I'm going to call the paragraph element. So um, I'm going to grab paragraphs from inside the div called my div. And then I'm going to put a colon and say nth hyphen child. So nth child. And then in brackets, I can put some parameters in here. So I'll just get rid of that semicolon there because that's not meant to be there. But in brackets, I can, uh, inside nth child, I can put odd. So I can use some keywords. I can say every um, odd paragraph, it could be blue. I could say um, even paragraphs, could be red. Um, or I could say like every second or every third paragraph or something like that. So you can use keywords like even uh, or odd. Okay, so we'll try even first. We'll apply a style to uh, even paragraphs inside this div. And what we'll do is we'll make the background color, um, we'll make it black and the color of the text white. And we'll save that and make sure that, sure that the web page is saved. And right click, open in browser. Okay, so we have told, we've used some CSS code to say that even paragraphs should be um, have a black background and white text. Okay, we could go back and change the CSS so we could change this keyword to odd. Okay, and now the odd paragraphs will have uh, a black background with white text. Okay, so those are a couple of different keywords we can use there. We can say even or odd. We can also say um, something like 2n, which will mean that every second paragraph will be, or every second child will have a black background and white text. So you can refresh that. And now every second one is black um, with white text. We could say 3n. Okay, so now every third paragraph or every third child. Or we could say something like 4n, save that and refresh. Okay, so now every four, um, every fourth child or every fourth paragraph inside this div has a black background with white text. Okay, so 2n, 3n, 4n, so on, we can use um, that to refer to which 
child we want to select. Um, we could just put in a number like this. So if we put in the number four, it will mean the fourth element only or the fourth child only. So now just the fourth paragraph is selected. All right, we could change that to six. Okay, now it's just a six paragraph that's selected. All right, we could also say, um, we could use a formula. So we could say something like N plus five. And what that will do is select all but the first four elements. So we can refresh. So it's applied a style to all but the first four elements. So in other words, it started from the fifth element and then um, selected everyone after that. So the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Okay. Um, we could change it to n plus six. Okay. And now that's selected all but the first five elements. We could also um, flip that around a little bit. So we could say something like minus n plus four, save and refresh. Okay. And now that's selected only the first four um, elements and anything after that isn't selected. Um, and then one last one that we'll look at is we can use um, an offset. So we could say something like 3n plus 1. And what this will do is it will select every third paragraph or every third child um, starting from the second paragraph or the second child. So here, oops, sorry, should be um, plus 2. So that will start from the first paragraph. So if we change that to plus two, there we go. So it's selecting every third paragraph starting from the second paragraph in that div. Okay. Um, if we put plus one, it will just start from the first um, paragraph. So in other words, it will be every third paragraph. We could say something like two n plus three. So that will um, select every second paragraph, but it will start from the third one. Okay. All right. So that's how to use the nth child selector in CSS. And there's a few different um, methods that we looked at there. We used um, numbers, we used keywords, and we used formulas as well. So we could pick out every second or third or fourth uh, element or um, refer to just specific uh, elements or specific range of elements in or children in a parent. Okay. Thanks for watching.